Hey guys, recently on the internet there's been some concerns addressed as to the safety of e-matches. Um, there's just a couple quick things I wanted to point out for those of you that don't already know or aren't aware. Um, this is your standard commercial e-match. This red plastic tip or covering is a protective shroud. If you push that back, that exposes the actual e-match inside. It's pretty important to leave that on. Um, bore a bigger hole in your device to put this in directly through a cardboard tube. Um, a lot of the newer devices that are be that are coming quick matched in both the um, professional and the uh, prosumer markets are already um, have plastic end caps in the end of the e-match that allow for the sh protective shroud to remain on the match and be inserted directly into that port. Um, so again, what this really does and the importance of leaving that plastic protective shroud on there is to uh, basically just it's one more level of security against uh, outside static electricity and mainly impact. Um, these are impact sensitive, friction sensitive that could set them off. All right. Now, I'm going to undo this a little bit here. Try to make this quick. Now these come from the manufacturer. I don't know if you can make that out with a slight twist in the wire. Um, personally, I don't feel it's enough. I tend to give it a little more of a twist um, so they're more interwoven, the two strands of the wire. Um, that's really huge. Um, by the following demonstration, you'll see why. I just took that uh, piece of insulation off. I'm going to untwist the wires. This is potentially one of the most dangerous parts um, when it's most susceptible to um, the E-match going off due to static electricity. I'm going to peel these apart, get myself a little clearance here. Just strip these off by hand to lengthen the actual bare wire a little bit here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to twist these off just a couple times. As you can clearly see there, they're pretty interwoven. Now here's just a, a battery. Put one in the um, positive terminal here. And if I can do this, here's the tip of the e-match. I'll even expose it a little bit for you. And here is the side over here on the negative terminal. Watch what happens to the wire, not so much the e-match head. All right, now that I don't know if you saw that, but the wire glue red hot. Notice the match didn't go off. Electricity follows the path of least resistance. You can tell how the uh, the circuit from both the positive and negative terminal of the battery pretty much follow the path of path of least resistance there, and um, burn up the wires here. And you can tell by the color that this is still bare exposed copper. It wasn't touched anyway. Obviously, electricity didn't travel all the way down to the match. Now, just to prove that this was a good match, quickly cut the uh, ends off here. Separate them a little bit more. Strip some more back. Okay. And get a piece of wire out of there. One in the positive end of the battery one in the negative terminal and now this match should go off there you go I think that's uh, pretty self-explanatory um, basically that uh, shorting out your wire twisting the two ends of the e-match together um, greatly mitigates your chances of um, static electricity or any type of electricity for that matter um, in this case, even direct battery uh, decreases your chances of the uh, e-match accidentally igniting. Thanks for watching.